I'm going to look now at an alternative but extremely similar model called the single index model. So this basically says that the return on an asset can be expressed in the following way. It is the return on the risk-free asset plus what we call the alpha of the asset plus its beta multiplied by the excess return on the market plus this epsilon term. And you can alternatively express this as the excess return on the asset being all this. So we're familiar with this part in the middle, the beta times the excess return on the market. It's the same thing as what it was in the capital asset pricing model. Now we have these two terms here, and these are both terms that are specific to the firm. So the alpha represents any sort of extra return that is expected on this asset above what would be provided as a result of exposure to the market. So in the capital asset pricing model, we basically just said that you expect to get um, excess return proportional to excess return on the market portfolio, and that was it. Now we say that there's that, and there might also be some excess return that is specific to the firm that you expect. This here represents, of course, what we were talking about before, which was those random sort of events that occur over time. Now our alpha is a single number, it's a constant, it's deterministic, but this is a random variable. So over